So obviously I'm going to do an unboxing of a brand new Leica MP black paint version and I also want to talk about some film and accessories that I've got as well. Now this camera I purchased from a store in Hong Kong called rangefinder.com.hk that's it. I'll put a link to the store down below. An incredibly good store, really really helpful and very very fast shipping and they have a lot of Leica products there and I think they ship worldwide. Well they ship to me in New Zealand so I guess they ship worldwide. So this is a brand new um, Leica MP 0.72 viewfinder, it's a black paint version. I will do a quick unboxing because I don't want to drag it out too much just to show you guys what comes in the box. Now this is a current model, this was actually manufactured at the beginning of this year, 21, 2021. Um, so it's a current model. Um, some of the older models you can still buy new come in the lower boxes, they're more of a squat box. This is the standard box that my M10P came in. You get a Leica Q in this box. It seems to be the standard size of box that Leica use. So if you've ever opened a Leica box, you'll know it does this. It opens up like that. And then inside you get this black box. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. And put it down there, right. So in the top, it's the same volume. You'll get the camera box, which we'll get to in a minute. And then if I put it here, I'm going to use my iPad because it's linked to the Sony A1 because it doesn't have a flip out screen. So I'm using a HDMI device and I can actually see it on my iPad. Okay, in the top one, you'll get, like always, you'll get your, you'll get your manuals, you'll get your um, inspection card who inspected your camera, um, basically. Uh, you'll get, uh, oh, this is new. Oh yeah, because... Yes, okay, because I'm thinking of my M10P. You actually got um, three months free Photoshop and Lightroom membership. But in this one, you get an international Leica Society, a one-year free digital membership. That's quite interesting. Like that. So I'll look into that later on. But that's what's in the top box. Don't get a lot in there. Um, and in the bottom box, I don't actually know what's in here. I know if you buy the Leica MA, which is another film camera they still make, you actually get a roll of Kodak Tri-X 400. And no, I don't get that. Okay, I get the battery because the MP has a light meter, so it comes with a battery. I didn't know you could still get this battery. This is the one battery. I normally use two batteries to make this one battery up. So that's quite interesting. I've never seen this battery in New Zealand. So I might search online and see if I can still get one of them. Um, you've got another battery cover. Um, slightly different battery cover. This has a, if I can get it out of the box. This has like a coin slot in it. So I'm guessing that's going to be easier if you want to take it out and change the battery. I'm guessing that's a spare. I haven't looked at the camera yet. Let's put that back in there. And then you get uh, a Leica leather neck strap, which is really nice actually. But I never actually use these. I use uh, another brand, which I'll cover in another video. Let's put that back in the box. That's it. Get to the camera now. Put that out of the way. Okay, right. Now I'm hoping this is a black paint because it says black paint on the box. Actually, I'll do it that way for you guys. There you go. So, put that out of the way. So, there you go. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's shiny. So that is a brand new Leica MP film camera, obviously, field advanced lever. Um, it is a brass top plate and a brass bottom plate. Um, the film winder is brass and the film advanced lever is brass as well. So as this camera ages, you'll actually see the brass come through, um, which is quite nice. and the paint has a, a rubbery feel to it compared to the other finishes you get on Leicas. I do like the black paint. So that's a brand new Leica MP. Obviously, there's no sensor in there because it's film. And it does actually have a battery holder on it. So I'll take that off. There. So it had a spare one of them in the box with a coin slot. 
Now, why have I bought an MP? Um, because I've always wanted one brand new. Um, I've been looking for a long time for a brand new um, Leica MP uh, because this is a camera that's going to stay with me a long time. I have a Leica M6 TTL and I also have a Leica M10P. But I've always wanted a brand new Leica MP because this is going to be my camera and this camera is going to be with me for a long time. I can tend to sell my cameras sometimes. I see a new camera and I sell one of my old cameras to get the new camera. But this one's going to stay with me. So this will be a long journey with this camera. It will be featured in many of my videos. Hopefully you'll see this age over time and this paint will wear away and the brass will come through. And it looks even better as it gets older, these cameras, especially the black paint version. So this is the MP and the MP has a built-in light meter. Unlike the MA, which doesn't have a light meter, it has no battery, it's fully mechanical. This one does have a built-in light meter and I do like my light meters. I can be a bit lazy sometimes. And the light meters on the Leica cameras, especially the modern ones, work really well. So that's it. A brand new Leica MP. Not a lot comes in the box. And it's one of the only film cameras you can buy brand new. Um, professional grade, 35mm. I don't think there's anybody else making these cameras brand new anymore because I know Nikon have stopped the F6 now. You can't buy that anymore, which is a bit of a shame because it's a really nice camera. So these are the last of the film cameras you can buy brand new. If you are actually interested in one of these cameras, I know at the time of making this video, rangefinder.com.hk, again the link will be down in the description, they still have some of these brand new in stock. And like I said, they will ship worldwide. They've been really, really good. I've been very impressed with their service and they get back to you really fast and their shipping is really fast. Normally, if you catch them early in the morning, they will ship it later on that day to you via FedEx, which um, means I got this in about three days from Hong Kong, so I can't complain. So this will be in other videos coming soon. Now I need your help with something in a minute, which I will mention with the MP. Now, what I also want to talk about is some film that I purchased. We'll put that out of the way in a minute, I'll talk about that in a minute. So this film came from a store in Melbourne, I think it's Melbourne in Australia, um, called Walkins. I put a link to their store down below because they have a really good range of film. And again, I think they ship worldwide. Um, I'm hoping they ship worldwide, but you can check on their shipping. I do think they ship worldwide. Um, and they have a really, really good selection of film. So in this box, I'm going to put this there so you guys don't get in your way too much. Now, I have bought a selection of black and white film to test. And the reason why is I just want to try some new film. And it's to show you guys some samples. Wow, I bought a lot of film. Okay, yeah, probably bought too much film. Okay, and also in there you have your standard black and white film, which is HP5 and Tri-X. So that's in the box. Now what I've got here are some of these films. I'm going to put them up to this camera, and I'm hoping... There. So I'm using the Sony. So this is Pan 400, black and white film. I have Retro 400S. Again, I'm hoping this camera's going to focus. There you go. It's actually really nice to have a camera I can rely on with focusing, unlike my Panasonic's, which never wanted to focus on anything. So we have those two films. I have these other films as well. This one's called Lady Grey. Okay. And I have this one, Berlin. Now, I've never shot any of these films. I've got a few of them as well. Put it out of the way. And then there's this, this one here, which I've never heard of, which is called Blackbird. Will that focus on that? There you go. Okay, now the reason why I've got all these films, as I said, I'm going to be reviewing these films in upcoming videos. But I need your help to help me pick a film for my MP. The first roll of film I'm going to put in this camera, will it be the Blackbird? Um, Berlin, 400. I've gone for black and white film because it's going to be easier. This Lady Grey, which looks quite interesting. Um, Pan, 400. Again, I'll show that one again. And... Retro 400S, and also I bought 10 packets of JCH Street Pan 400. Now, this is these new boxes. They actually look quite cool. Now, I ordered this direct from Bellamy in Japan, so I'll put a link to that as well. You can actually order this direct from him. And also, I have Kodak Tri-X 400 and HP5. Now, what I want you guys to do is put down in the comments what the roll of film I'm going to put in this camera, the first roll of film I'm going to put in this camera. The roll of film that has the most votes is the first roll of film I was shooting this, and I will be reviewing that film within a couple of weeks. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so let me know out of all of these films, I've made a complete mess there, which one of those films you think should be my first roller film in this, the brand new Leica MP. And the one that gets the most votes, I will go out and shoot with that film. That will be the first film that I will review of this batch. Now something else I want to talk about quickly. I'm going to put that there in a minute. Sorry, I'm making a mess. Right. Now, this is your standard style film case that most people use. This is actually um, JCH, um, Japan Camera Hunters case. Now, it's actually made in Japan. These are, to be honest, plastic fantastic. They're great, they're lightweight, and they do their job really well. Um, like I said, this is actually Bellamy Hunt's one from Japan Camera Hunter. Um, you can buy these on his store. Now, Walkins had some new cases in, which are these Kodak cases you'll see here. Now, these are film cases from Kodak. They're not some Chinese knockoff um, using Kodak's name. They're actually Kodak film cases. So they actually have these in stock at Walkins, And I'll also put a link to Amazon because I know there's a store on Amazon. I think Kodak have their own store on Amazon and they actually sell them direct from there. But these cases are really nice. I actually opened this one up earlier. It's all right, it's metal. It won't break too much. They are a metal film case. They have really nice clips and they will hold five rolls of 35 mil film. And this little tray comes out as well. So you could actually use this to store other stuff. But they are incredibly good quality and they're a reasonable price too. Um, they weren't that expensive, but it's a nice film holder case. Yeah, film case. I mean, this is nice, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking the plastic fantastic, but it's a bit boring when you look at this. That is really, really nice quality. And it's got Kodak there, and it's got Kodak there. I got the um, blue and yellow one for my color film, and the matte black one is gonna be for black and white film, obviously. But I just wanted to show you guys these cases because I don't actually think anybody's actually done these on YouTube yet. And I'm not gonna do a review on it. I just want to show you them basically because I think these are a really nice case and it's going to last a long time. It's really well constructed and it's solid metal. So just a quick video really, quick ramble and a quick unboxing of a Leica MP um, film camera. Hang on, the microphone's up here. Wow, that's a beautiful camera. If you guys want me to do a review on this camera versus say my M6 TTL, let me know down in the comment section. Um, it will be in a few weeks time because I want to use it a few times um, and give you my opinion of the camera. But this is my camera and this is going to be used quite a lot. So over the coming months and years, you're going to see this camera age. Um, hopefully it won't age too fast because it was quite expensive and it's a beautiful looking camera. And also this selection of black and white film, which will all be reviewed on this channel in the coming weeks with the MP and the M6. And a few lenses I've also got. I've got a couple of lenses from rangefinder.com.hk, Hong Kong, um, which will also be reviewed. I'll be doing a quick review on some of the lenses soon. So don't forget to let me know which film you think should be my first roll of film I shoot in this brand new Leica MP. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.